Polyline objects in AutoCAD LT 2011 now have extra grips to make editing them easier than ever. In addition to the familiar primary grips located at the end of each polyline segment, there are now secondary grips located at the midpoint of each segment. These grips, like the hatch grips, are multifunctional. The available functions can be seen by hovering over a grip, and you can choose an option directly from the menu that appears. For example, I can quickly add a vertex between two existing vertices, and then convert one of the new line segments to an arc. You can also left-click on a grip to activate it, and cycle through the available functions by pressing Control. Icons next to the cursor indicate the active function. To remove this vertex, I can left-click on it, press Control until the Subtract icon appears, and left-click again. Splines have been updated in AutoCAD LT 2011 to provide more flexibility and control. When you start the spline command, you can choose between fit points or control vertices. The control vertices method is new and is more appropriate for splines that will eventually be used with AutoCAD surfaces. Splines also have grip menus similar to those for polylines, enabling you to stretch, add, refine, or remove vertices, and to switch between displaying fit points and control vertices. The Edit Spline command also has new options, including Add Kink, which enables you to add sharp corners to your spline. The Join command has been improved to allow you to connect to lines, arcs, polylines, 3D polylines, and splines together as long as you select the most complex object first, and as long as each object to be joined shares a common endpoint with another object. For example, I can start the join command and select a spline, two lines, an arc, and a polyline. When I press enter to end the command, the result is a single spline. 